You're right guys, it's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back to the channel. Now I am in an absolutely fantastic mood because we've just got Warhammer Conquest issue 42 and that's right, we can build a full Plague Burst Crawler for Death Guard. Now, you know, this kit was £40 RRP from Games Workshop and we've got it for about £18. £17.99 pence or 98 pence. That's an absolute steal. It's an absolute bargain. So if I know it's not, it's six, it's it's £15.98. pence. My god, that is that, that that's a bargain. Anyway, I'm unsure whether I'm gonna paint this in um, the traditional way, like how Games Workshop predominantly promotes their stuff, and um, with a paintbrush. Or should I pre-shade it with an airbrush and then airbrush the lot and maybe do a little bit, bit of an edge highlight? I'm unsure at the moment. And also another question, I don't know whether to do it in my, in well, not my, but in the traditional Death Guard 40K colors, which is the green, or to do it in the 30K-esque Death Guard color scheme which is obviously like a bonish color so, so they're, they're the things that I've, I've got going on in my mind at the moment so if you want to follow me um, or follow the progress come along to Facebook come along to Instagram Peninsula Hobby and Chill is a Facebook group that's linked to this YouTube channel and obviously I've got my Instagram as well which I do post random stuff to do with the hobby and to do with other interests of mine so guys let's crack on with this video and I'll see you in a second nice one guys see you in a minute Right guys, let's have a little look at the magazine and the sprue. So we've got some really, really detailed parts here. Look at those skulls, how they protrude out of the model. Of the model. Look at all those pox marks there as well. Think of the wash, how the wash is gonna soak up all and that, it's gonna love it, isn't it? And um, we've got some, obviously, some nice edge work to work with. And um, we've got the side plates here. And then the, some weapons, the mortar. I can't believe how detailed it is. Even just a simple thing like the pox marks and obviously the, the damage parts. Absolutely fantastic. And um, here's like the, the upper chassis as well. So I think that's a part of the mortar. So we don't actually really get much on it. But as we all know, the whole kit's £40. And we're getting for about £15.98. So I'm, I'm absolutely made up. Um, not much more to say about that, apart from obviously the question at the beginning. Um, question myself, but you know, maybe a bit of guidance from you guys wouldn't go amiss. Um, so let's have a look at the magazine now. It's going to be a short video, not really much to talk about, but here's the magazine. <coughs> so we've got obviously the Plague Burst Crawler, how to paint it, the rules, and the Garden of Nurgle, which should be interesting. So. We've got the Ages of Mankind, which has got a lovely bit of artwork here from, I'm thinking, 4th edition rulebook. And then the Black Templars on the front. That may actually be the 3rd edition. Um, I'm getting old now, guys, so my memory's a little bit crappy at the moment. But I do recall this artwork and this style of artwork from that period. So there's some information here about the Age of Mankind. And I'm going to give a guess that basically it's going to tell us how the Emperor um, recaptured Earth and how he went about saving the solar system with the Primarchs and then obviously with the Imperium. Um, the Eye of Terror, some information here. Some more old artwork there from back in the, the, the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. And some information here about the Eye of Terror and how it operates what what it powers what used to defend it which unfortunately Cadia has fallen unfortunately um, and obviously it's the it is the domain of evil so obviously all the evilness the chaos gods come from there and then which obviously led on to the heretics astrates which I collect um, obviously death guard and black legion at the moment using the stuff from the Shadow Spear box set. So we've got some information here 
<coughs> pardon me, sorry, about the Garden of Nurgle, which is a absolute, absolute heaven for Papa Nurgle himself. He loves this place. Um, not too sure I would like to go there, but you know, it's very interesting. Some nice artwork here, a bit of background and you know, like the deathbeds, the pile ponds, the house of putrefaction, um, all great information there to, to get you guys interested in collecting your Death Guard army. Ground to Dust, is this a campaign? The Death Guard have laid siege to Adeptus Mechanicus Fortress. Ooh, a crystal of fairness with the enemy dug in. Lord of Contagion, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Ah, so he's used the plague base crawlers in town to obviously attack this de defense fortification. That'll be an interesting read. Very interesting. Tells you what was used in the Death Guard forces and what what was actually included with the, the Adeptus Mechanicus as well. Nice bit of uh, painted miniatures there from the um, heavy metal team. A little picture of the Skatarian, more information and how to paint your, your play base crawler. So obviously you've got the base paints, the washers, and then we've got some layer paints here. <coughs> I'm thinking in the future we're gonna get some Nagling Green to layer up as well. So obviously it's telling you to base it in Death Guard Green and then base your metallic parts in the um, lead belcher. And maybe a bit of black maybe. And obviously Retributor Armour wreck art flesh and stuff like that all right okay that's interesting right <coughs> okay a bit of a tickly cough guys i do apologize it's telling us to use the wreck art flesh over the pox marks and then the bugman's glow within inside of it hmm interesting and obviously you're gonna do a wash over that right right okay Some information good information there and that's how it's going to look at the end of it, which I think is a fairly decent standard if you ask me. You know, I would happy for mine to look like that. And that's why I'm contemplating brush painting it, to be honest. And then obviously we've got a bit of information here about the next mission, Battle of K K Kalon. So there's some nice information here. Mission briefing. And um, what we're going to use, the deployments, the victory conditions. Here's the play base crawler rules. So obviously, the, as the wounds diminish, um, so does the movement and the ballistic skill of, of the model. It's quite interesting as well. Also tells us about this line of sight here. The mortar doesn't need line of sight. Um, and obviously, the range of the plague burst mortar. So that's that. Like I said, quick, quick and easy and simple review here, guys. And then what do we get next week? Well, we knew last week that we're gonna get these um, thermic plasma regulators. which look a bit like generators to me. Uh, I can't wait to get some of them, paint them up, put them on the table. And then obviously the following week, we're getting some lead belcher refills and some Necron compound. Now I still haven't used my lead belcher. I don't think any of you guys would have either, unless you're painting mass armies. But the Necron compound, that is a very good paint. And I can't wait to get that again. I've got one at home somewhere. So um, I'll have two, not too bad. It uh, comes in very handy and very useful. So guys, as usual, these past two editions have saved us a lot of money. And I look forward to what we get into the future. And I'll see you soon. Nice one guys, try.